What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Center for Stingray Biology. Um, it's the end of the month, or actually it's the beginning of the month, and I just finished paying my bills. Look at that crazy pile of bills. Just give you guys a little number there. Look at that. That's my electric bill for the month. Alright. How crazy is that? Um, the overhead is just insane. So after writing all those checks and making those payments, not really in a good mood, you know seeing all that money just fly out the door um but <clears throat> it seems like the world is starting to get back on track the covid shots are available now and you know i know quite a few people have gotten it uh i've gotten it already myself i got my first shot um actually my second shot is coming up in about two weeks and uh, i'm not really looking forward to it because i've heard a lot of people say that that second shot there are some you know side effects and we're gonna feel a little sick or tired but, you know, we need to get protected, right? And so, you know, the, the, the girls are going to be going back to school soon. I think, uh, Tiff, yeah. when you guys go back to school? Um, in April like 12th. April 12th, right? So in like a week and a half, two weeks, somewhere around there, they're back to school. So I get to get my office back. Because this whole time for the past year and a half, I've been working out of this little makeshift fold-up desk here in one of my uh, fish rooms while the girls get to have the office so that they can go to school. Enough about that. Let's see. All right, the first update I want to give you is in that last video where we had the the stingray that was born with like the curved tail with the really nice pattern. Unfortunately, that fish didn't make it. Um, it died literally the next day. Definitely something was not good about that birth and it was a very weak fish. We saw that, you know, the way it was swimming, it wasn't even swimming right. Like the, It's almost like the back half of the body was paralyzed, no movement. Um, usually when a, when a stingray swims, you see the whole side of the disc, you know, kind of wave like this. And the two little clasper fins, the paddles, you know, push out and there was no movement there. So it, it was almost like, it was like a half paralyzed fish. So that fish is gone, didn't make it. Okay, the <clears throat> next update I want to show you, which is the main point of today's video. Uh, if you guys remember, we moved that albino black diamond, right? And I had some concerns. I felt that the male might have been a little bit more mature than the female, and possibly the, uh, the male might beat up on the females, right? And guess what? I was wrong. I was totally, totally wrong. The exact opposite happened. The female beat up the male. So look at my male now, totally destroyed. And this happened over the course of a few days. I noticed some minor injury and I wanted to leave it and let's see where they can ride it out and, and start to get along. But um, the biting seems to be pretty severe and it's this female right here that's been doing it. So I now have to make the decision how I want to separate this, okay? I can either separate the male up into this top tank like, like how I was going to originally do, or I can take that aggressive female and move it up. <clears throat> At this point, it's just a question of who I want to um, develop better and faster. And in this case, obviously, I think I want that male to develop, right? Now, yes, if I bring it up to the top, no, no disturbances and he'll heal up. <clears throat> but I want him to learn some, uh, what's the word, social, uh, I want him to gain some social interaction because like I said, uh, when I was raising it since young, he was by himself and I was just really babying it all too much, right? And he needs to learn to get along with other fish. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave him down there and I'm going to move the aggressive female out and see uh, how he gets along because it just seems like it's the two new fish that I put in there that is getting picked on and of, and of course the albino got picked on the worst, okay? I'm gonna move that one out and that's what we're gonna do right now. Let me go grab Oi so that she can take over on the camera. Huh? Okay, and and then uh, we will be right back. So Oi's actually busy for the moment so we're gonna have to wait on her. But in the meantime, I just saw that there's two more things that I can show you in regards to the updates. Okay, so in this system here where the albino black diamonds came out of, I said that I was going to, you know, let you guys know what I put in here. And all I did was I just moved out a couple of other grow outs to put in this tank and uh, to keep it cycling for now. Okay, 
these are some of my black diamond hybrids and so that that's what i i put in here for now that's that's actually not the main fish that i want to get in there uh i haven't been able to make the decision but i just did not want to leave that tank empty for too long and uh i'll explain to you why if you leave a, a, a cycled or established tank empty for too long it will actually lose its cycle and what's the reasoning behind that it's the 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 uh the bacteria i forgot the name of the bacteria not and the the aerobic bacteria that has established itself in the media right that's what consumes all the ammonia and nitrites and so forth right but with no waste in the water they lose their food source and of course with no food source that bacteria is going to die off so i didn't want that to happen while i'm trying to figure out what i want to put in there so i just grabbed two medium uh fish and i just threw it in there one in each tank just to keep the cycle going so that way when i'm ready to put what i really want to put in there the tank is still fully established and ready to go all right um now uh let's come over to this tank one of the uh earlier uh super white pups that i've had i haven't given you guys an update in quite some time so there she is right now she's grown quite a bit um i think it's almost seven now well, maybe a little bit more than seven inches the spots are still growing nicely but the spots are still yellow and uh we're just gonna have to wait and see when these spots will turn white okay um so that's that's i guess that's the last update that, that i can think of for now i know i already showed you the snow leopards before um okay the uh, little marbles down here that was born um a couple weeks ago they're doing great eating active swimming and um actually quite a few of them are sold already um ever since that last video people have been reaching out and contacting me and they were interested in those marbles so i think like four of them in that basket is sold already and they're going to be going out next week okay oh, are you ready i need your help what are you doing sitting down yeah ready to go mm -hmm. okay let's go everyone said that they like your intro they, they said that you should get rid of me and then make you the new intro person oh my god i'm gonna just be like the recording person you want to be the recording person yeah. okay that's fine by me well i can just get a stool get a stool huh? Alright uh, right, guys, so mm, we're just going to do a quick little move right here, I mean nothing crazy special about this video, uh, just that we have to separate the fish so that the damage doesn't continue. I don't know why that one fish is so aggressive, um, they're very well fed. And it just seems like whenever they come near each other, they, he, that female just attacks the male. So we're going to pull that female out. Uh, that's what I decided. I want the male to stay down here. Come on. So the female is going to get the time out, not the male. The male didn't do anything wrong. The male got picked on, so this girl has got to get a timeout. That's all I gotta say. Mm. And she's grown quite a lot because this is what, oh, this is the fish. Relax. Oh my goodness. You see, such a bad, bad fish. There was no reason for it to do that. None at all. Okay. And this is one of the fish that I used to cycle this system. So it's been here a while. It was... Really? Now I'm pissed. So now I got a big mess I got to clean up. Alright, but anyways. This was one of the fish that was in this tank to cycle this system. It's been here... Um, for it's been in this tank for at least a month and a half and uh, I guess it, it it grew faster than the other fish 
uh, given that it had such a big space. But even when I first originally moved it over here, it didn't behave like this. I don't know why it's being such a naughty, naughty fish. All right, anyways, guys, let's take a quick look at this fish and its injuries. Let's get it up into this tray. I don't want to stress it too much, so we're just going to get it in here. I'm not going to pull it out of the water. Just trying to get a better situation to, to look at the, the fish and review the damage. Okay. So obviously, that's the worst damage right there. The skin is gone. It's down to the flesh. The flesh is rotting off. A little, it's lost its tail, too. Okay. The tail, I would say, probably lost about half an inch to an inch. And there's another bite mark right here. And there's a bite mark right there at the front of the disc. Okay. So, <clears throat> now that I've made this, I'm going to release it back. Now that I've made this separation, oh, you know what? Oh, 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 I know. I want to see the underside of the fish. So now I'm going to have to lift it up. Don't splash on me. I want to see if there's any marks underneath. Okay, if there's red marks on the underside of the disc, then it could be bacterial infection. But the bottom is all clean, right? So it's only the sides and the edges where it got bit. So that's a good thing that uh, there's no uh, damage on the underside. All right, so now we're going to release it back. And we're going to monitor the behavior again carefully and see if he starts healing, okay? If the injury continues to get worse, or another fish steps up and starts to bother it, then I might have to switch this back around and isolate him so that nobody hurts him. But for now, this is the way I want it. Um, I hope you guys learned something. Uh, I got a lot of cleaning to do right now. But thank you again for watching, and, uh, and please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.